Hello and welcome to another FittingSites.com screencast tutorial. In this video we're going to talk a little bit about WordPress and SEO. And it's something that I get asked quite a bit by my clients, uh, which is how can I write in such a way that I can help myself out in search engine results? Where do I put keywords? Things like that. And one of the nice things about WordPress is that Although there are quite a few plugins that are available that allow you to change certain things to help yourself in search, really you can actually do quite a bit by just knowing how to do it inside of WordPress itself. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to walk through what your site looks like in WordPress and what it would look like inside of a search result for Google so that you can sort of see the difference and understand where you need to be adding your keywords. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to our most recent blog post. This is for a recipe that we're putting on our website called Cherry Bomb Cupcakes. And what we're going to pay attention to here are a couple of things. We're going to pay attention to the title of our post right here. And we're also going to pay attention to the words that are in the first sentence of our post. Because these are things that show up quite often in search. And the easiest way to see those together is to look at the edit post panel inside of WordPress. Let me drag this window down a little bit so we can see more of our post. And here we go. Basically, when you're trying to put keywords inside of your WordPress pages or posts, the, uh, the three things that you really want to pay attention to here are the title of your blog post or your page. And here it's cherry bomb cupcakes and for this particular business the word uh, cupcake is definitely a keyword that we want to associate with our business um, if you have custom permalinks set up on your WordPress site it'll actually take the title of your post and it'll actually make it the URL of your post as well so if you have a keyword inside of the title for your page or post, then WordPress will be able to actually put that inside of your URL itself, provided again that you have custom permalinks enabled. Um, we have a video on that as well, so definitely take some time to check that out if you don't have this setting on your site right now. And also, as I said, we're going to be paying attention to the first sentence of our blog post. And actually, what Google does is it only takes the first 70 characters of what you've written in your page and includes that in search. And that 70 characters ends up being just about that much right there. So it's important when you're, when you're writing your post inside of WordPress that you use your keyword in the title and that you also have your keyword in your URL and also that you mention your keyword again inside of the first 70 characters of your blog post. And don't worry if you're afraid that you have to put every single keyword that's important to you in the first sentence. It's actually a bad idea to overload your page with keywords. And understand that if Google is going to crawl your site and look at your entire page, if someone searches for a word that isn't in your first 70 characters, let's say the word chocolate, for example, then what Google will do is they'll actually grab the snippet of text from your blog post that's most important. So you don't need to worry about cramming everything into the first sentence. But for every post you want to focus on just one keyword and write about that. And if you mention it first in the title, and then again make sure that it's inside of your URL, and then again make sure that you have that same keyword in the first 70 words of your uh, actual text for the post itself, then you should be doing pretty good. And maybe the easiest way to actually understand that is to take a look at an example of this particular post inside of Google. So here's our Google, Google search page. And you can see that whoever has searched for fresh cherry cupcakes has seen our post as the top choice in their search result. Let's go ahead and enlarge that a little bit so we can see it a bit better. You'll recall that when I was talking about the actual post inside of WordPress, we're really focused on our title for the post. 
and that actually shows up for us at the very top of your search result. And you can see that actually the words cherry and cupcakes and cupcake are bolded out. This, les, this is Google's way of letting you know that these are the words that you searched for when you first searched for the term fresh cherry cupcakes. So you can see here that it's highlighted those for us. And so if you want those to show up, you need to make sure to have those keywords in the title of your post. And you can also see that the search result definitely displays the URL of your page, the permalink that you gave it. And in this case, it's pretty important because you can see that cherry and cupcakes are also highlighted here. So having keywords in your URL is very important. And this is where they'll show up inside of a search result for Google. And last but not least is the actual content itself. Here you can see we have just the first 70 characters of our blog post but the words fresh and cupcakes are highlighted here. Again, so it really helps to understand when you're writing your blog posts inside of WordPress or creating a page inside of WordPress that the content that you add to the title, to the permalink or URL, and to the first few words of your actual post are probably going to show up inside of a search result. So they're really important to pay attention to. So hopefully that's helped you to make some sense of it a little bit. I think it's nice to see it actually inside of a Google search and create that connection between that and our actual website itself. Uh, thanks very much for watching and have a great day.